good morning everyone let's play some more banished on our huge laggy map um, I am done with school so I am going to try to finish off this season um, so what I'm going to do is it is year 104 we are going for year 200 to get the tenured building uh, have a population of 500 after 200 years. That's what we're going for. Um, that will be the last achievement to round out this season. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably um, cut out here and do the boring part while we are away. Oh, I have so many people without homes. I don't remember what I did. I did something, but uh, people are without homes. Awesome. Um, <laughs> Um, but I'll probably cut out and uh, come back every about 10, not 10 minutes, but 10 years is what I was thinking. Um, and we will be able to run through and get everything done real fast like that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is find a good spot to build maybe a few more boarding houses because we have 38 people without homes. Some of them which are cold and homeless, I'm sure. Yeah, they must have went inside the tunnel. <laughs> well, that'd be weird. Go inside the tunnel and you get warm, right? Uh, click it, click it. Click it, there we go. Um, so I will see you guys in a little bit. Um, basically, I'm just going to play full speed. Try to get everything knocked out real fast. So, uh... Hopefully you enjoy, and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Welcome to year 110. Alright, so first off, I decided that I needed to clear out this uh, hunter-gatherer area and uh, put houses in it, because it was a central location to the entire map. And I liked that. Now, we've been having lots of people die of old age. Um, so much so that we went from like 700 citizens, um, adults, down to like 400 adults. <laughs> um, but I have houses being built. Um, as you can see, this is going to be a, a pretty much pure housing area where just people will live and have babies. Oh, we got a fire. Look at that. Oh gosh, this whole area is going to burn down. Um, because we don't have anything here to uh, stop this. Let's just speed it up and let it burn. We're not going to stop this. I think the nearest well is way over here somewhere. I did not realize that non... Um, didn't realize that non... Uh, what you call it? Houses could burn. There's this area I didn't build any houses around. Awesome. Well then. <laughs> uh, uh, hope stockpiles don't uh, catch on fire. I know this uh, this thing was probably full of food. Um, if you if you noticed uh, up here in our professions, we don't have nearly as many uh, things going on. <laughs> Look at that. The foresters uh, was not that somehow. Uh, but we don't have nearly as many people gathering food for us, but since we have less amounts to feed, we're still uh, hovering over 200, close to 300,000 food. Um, so that's not been a big deal for us yet. We are clearing this entire area out, and uh, you can see here, when things like this happen, somebody sporadically died. All the stuff they were carrying, all that food just falls on the ground. Luckily it doesn't go bad, um, so it just sits there. Um, so, <laughs> it, it's good. Well, we have a lot less vendors than normal. We have a lot less miners and uh, stone cutters than we used to. Uh, we are still doing okay. Uh, we are struggle to keep thing, keeping a firewood for the winter time. We've got so many houses. Um, but you can see our population is still on the older side. Um, here we do have families um, with kids. Single, single mother, I guess, with kids. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know where her husband went. Uh, and then we have a, a look at that. Why, why don't these families join together? 
I mean, it's not that big of a difference in age. But we have a 50-year-old male with a 10-year-old male. I mean, we have a lot of people coming of age. Um, so I'm not too terribly concerned. We've still got 90 years to go. And we haven't dipped below 500 citizens. Um, on the plus side, uh, education level has been skyrocketing. We're up to 85%. Um, so that is great, all those uh, people that, uh, all those nomads we let in years ago are finally dying off. Um, and we are at 85% education, which is great. We were at 75% when I was first looking at it a little bit ago. And we lost more people. So until these 44 students become adults, we're kind of uh, winging it here with all the things that we're doing. We're down to two herbalists, but we had four herbalists and it had 4,000, which is more than enough. Man, old age. Our population is old. I almost took in some more nomads earlier because I was like, oh my gosh, I need people. Uh, but decided not to. I decided I would just build houses and expand. Um, these houses, like I said, a lot of older people living in these ones. Um, but that's okay. Uh, we got young people, and some of them. Students and, and such. Children. Not sure how uh, she had children and now her husband's gone. But, uh, what was that? Dolly? Something like that? Poor Dolly. She has a one-year-old and no husband. Oh, got trading posts. Um, I figure I will uh, just kind of kick around here with you guys for a little bit. Um, I don't think anything much new has been happening. So, uh, I have less people working in the fields, so I am going to trade for food. Because I do not want to hit a food epidemic. That would be very bad. We do not want that. Okay, there we go. I'll trade that. Get another 8,000 food, um, which will be wonderful. I mean, a lot of these places are still doing good for our food, so I'm not too terribly concerned. Um, we have 91 children, so um, obviously this whole thing, this whole house situation has worked. Um, temporarily we have been uh, knocking down people because people keep dying. We go down to 120 farmers. Because every time I turn around, our laborers are at zero again. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Because everyone in this town is old. Like, super old. Old, old. So, uh, I'm going to lay out some more houses. I've been laying two, and then space for a road. Should be space for a road there. for a road right there. So that's how I've been doing it. All stone houses, because that's all I build. Oop, wrong button. So we'll build a couple more houses here. I might need to demolish this highway to get the uh, houses in. I guess we'll see. We'll see what we do. Um, I might have them go around so that everything is uniform as far as it looks. Um, but we are just in a little bit of a slump uh, as far as our, um, our population goes. But like I said, we, we have 90 years to iron this out. Um, and we have no students up here. Uh, look at that. That's, uh, I said no. There we go. And 
put right there. Um, if I remember correctly, the way it works with schools is if there are no teachers in the area, um, the students uh, like won't go to school super far away. Looks like nobody is working that. That's okay. Not that far. This way. Here we go. Gonna demolish some of these teachers. Um, because we do not need that many teachers. We don't have enough students to go around with that. Um, because there's not enough kids up in that area. Um, we've snuck in a couple more boarding houses just in case. Um, but our population is still rather old. Um, I mean, we even have some empty houses, uh, which should fill out really quickly mm -hmm. as our children, um, our children go to school and become laborers. Um, they will move in and uh, make babies together. So that'll be great um, if people would stop dying a whole bunch. Um, so I am seriously considering taking the next nomads. I guess it will depend on uh, how badly it looks here. Um, so I will keep you posted on what's happening and what will happen. Because, uh, I'm not sure. I'd rather not take the nomad because I do want to uh, get the 100% education. Um, the nice thing about it is it's only for four years. So if necessary, I can take nomads after we hit that 100%. Uh, we are at 87% now. We went up two more percent since, uh, what, 10 minutes? Not bad. If we keep that rate going up, then uh, we will be at 100% soon. Um, but I know there's going to be some kids here, and I don't know if they're going to come all the way down to school, wherever this other school is here. Uh, there's nine students there currently. Four students there, so um, we'll see. Um, have they rebuilt this? Uh, oh, not this area. This area. Looks like they're working on this. We've almost got this uh, going. The builders have been busy. <laughs> it's been rough on them, that fire. Um, so I think I will probably uh, take a take another break here. It's year 111. Um, if necessary, I'll bring in nomads for the end. But I'm going to try not to. Um, see you in probably about another 10 years. Alrighty, we are back again. It hasn't quite been 10 years because uh, I just wanted to highlight that our education level has now hit 100%. Uh, we've definitely dropped in our population. Uh, we are down to uh, 487, 86 now, total citizens. Um, but I'm okay with that. Like I said, we have now 97 years to, uh, to make up the difference, and we have 100 children. <laughs> um, so we are growing back up quite nicely. Um, but we are at 100% education, and so if you remember, one of the achievements that we were trying to get is educated. Have a fully, populated, fully educated population with 200 adults for four years. Um, so we have more than 200 adults, and so we are now waiting four years um, because we have currently 315 adults. Wait, did I say 400 adults? Now, now I'm concerned. No, 200 adults. Okay, good. So we are earning, earning that achievement now. We are in the middle of it. Uh, we hit it at late summer of 113, year 113. Um, so late summer of year 117, uh, we should be getting it. And then after that, we will be clear to accept nomads again, um, which will be nice because it will give us a good population boost of adult and children. Uh, we probably won't need it because it looks like we're we're well on our way of. Uh, of lowering the age of our population. Um, I don't think there is a way to check the age, the average age. Let's look at our graphs. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. Population. Um, 
and this just tells us how much population. You can see we've had a large dip in our population, um, but we should have had a large jump of children. We were pretty low here. We had like nothing, and so we jumped up. So that's good. Um, I don't. I don't think there's a way to look at the. Uh, the average age. Um, there are 160 families. We have 323 homes. We have more homes than we have families, really. But all I care is we are educated. Edumacated. Uh, that was one of the ones that we needed to get along with the uh, 200 years. So we are uh, we're on our way to do that. Um, I'll probably come back here in about four years, so uh, once we get it done, I will show it to you guys um, so we can have it completed. Um, this whole area got cleared out while uh, we were waiting. Cleaned it all out, ready for building. Oh, looks like uh, some of this stuff grew from when I cleared this out. We don't have enough farmers to get all of our food, but we have less citizens, so it's working out fine. Um, it's not a big deal because we don't have as many citizens as we had, so we're not eating as much food as we had. So we're still um, actually have gone up in the amount of food we have, which is good considering we have so many children that don't do anything but stuff their faces full of food. So uh, that's okay. okay. Everything finally got finished building, so I'll drop back down to five laborers. I haven't had to pull anything out of anything uh, for about a game year, which means that our population is on the rise again, uh, which is great. But uh, I will see you in a couple of years here, probably around year uh, 117, so that we can finish out our education achievement, which is great. See you in just a little bit. Welcome to year 117. We are still at 100% education. It is spring. So we have uh, summer to get to, late summer, and we should get it. Um, a lot has happened since <laughs> we were here. Um, we had a massive fire down in this location. You can still see some of the uh, trailing effects here that uh, happened. Um, and almost all of these houses, this uh, vendor and these houses, um, all went up in flames. It, it was a huge fire. Um, so big that I actually accidentally uh, reclaimed that area instead of rebuilt. Um, but it, uh, it was huge and we're still trying to finish cleaning it up. Um, food wise we've been doing good. We've been getting more laborers through. I've been replacing people back into their food positions, farming and such. Um, and keeping a close watch on the schools. Make sure they don't get overpopulated, because if they do get overpopulated, we're going to lose that uh, education. Uh, we should still be at 100%. Yes, we are. Still at 100%. Some nomads came through as uh, we were working our way up um, a couple years ago. And uh, we told them, no, we don't want your kind here. Um, and uh, so we, we rejected them. We didn't quite say it like that, but it was the point was clear. Um, but we should be we should be getting it here pretty soon. Um, our labor population keeps going up, uh, which means I keep replacing people back into farming because that's where most of our food comes from, and we definitely don't want to run out of food. Uh, so here you are, early summer, so we should be uh, getting this achievement very soon. Um, like I said, we, I think we uh, got up to 100% uh, sometime in late summer. I'm not sure how it tracks years in this. Um, if it's going to wait until, like, 18, year 118, or if it will do it exactly four years from when we got 100% education. So I guess we'll find out shortly. Uh, Resources-wise, we've been getting a little low on stone. Um, because we had to rebuild so much and we don't have very many people working our stone mines anymore. 
Uh, but as our children, we have 150 children right now and 103 students and uh, 388 adults for a total of 640 citizens. Uh, so we're doing fine citizens wise. Um, we still got plenty of tools, we got plenty of clothes, um, plenty of herbs, everything, you know. We, we got plenty of everything. Um, lots of people becoming students, becoming laborers. Um, our event log is just going crazy on uh, births and, and everything, so um, I figured it would happen. Uh, we're 27, so we'll put five more into farms. Put up to 150 in the farm, so we're more than uh, half uh, back full into our farmers, so that's good. Uh, we'll need to get our herdsmen back up, our gatherers, our fishers, our hunters, our foresters, all those people back up. Um, and then we'll start worrying about getting our uh, miners, stone cutters, and everyone back up as well. Uh, but first, we need to get the food people back up and running. Alright, we've hit late summer, so this achievement should be popping soon. Um, it's exciting, I kept on uh, thinking that maybe it wasn't going to happen because of uh, schools getting too full and such and dropping down to 99%. It was, it was very nerve-wracking as I was sitting here constantly checking this to make sure I was at 100%. Um, so, any minute now. Still have somebody not knowing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, that was a result of the fire. Uh, people are finally like everything is getting finally replaced here. It was it was bad. Like almost all of these houses here were gone. The breweries, of course, got knocked out. The vendor got knocked out, and uh, probably about half of these houses got knocked out. Oh, I thought that was our thing. No, firewood's low. That's okay. Firewood is going to be low. Um, these next few people I'm actually going to throw into stone cutting. Because I want to make sure that we get some more stone. Because we're, we're quite down. Oh, there it is. Oh no, that's a merchant. Dang it. I thought that was our achievement. <laughs> uh, we got those seeds. Get out of here. We don't want you. It's not 100%. Okay, good. We're in autumn of 17. I mean, we started it in uh, 13, I think. Should be soon. I'll stick around uh, till turn of the uh, turn of the year. We'll go through winter time together, and uh, we'll see if we get it done. If not, a little bit more. Okay. Yep. Firewood's low. I know. We have 19 woodcutters, and they can't keep up on firewood. I, I'm not sure why. I, I know part of it is because our foresters are down, we're not getting as much logs, but we still have over 800 logs. Um, so I'm not sure why. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Don't ask me. Uh, up to 400 adults now, that's good. Our population of adults has grown. And we have about half as many. Uh, a little more than half as many students and children as we do adults. Um, but we had a huge bank of food, so we're good. So like, we need to get farmers back up and running because we're wasting food. Not that it matters, I mean, these are probably pretty full, yeah. It's not a huge deal. Children being bored at the end of the year. Alright, late autumn. Still at 100%, so I, I mean, this achievement should be uh, should be popping soon. There it is. Educated. We've reached the award. Educated. Here we are. Achievements. Educated. Excellent. Um, so the last one we're trying to get here is tenure. Um, you can see here we got we got quite a few of them this this season. Like the only one we had before this season was Mountain Man, um, but uh, we should have three more left for our final season of season three, uh, where we're going to do uneducated, isolationist, and one with nature. Um, so that'll be fun. 
but this last one, this huge city that we've we've made, um, has got us most all of the achievements. A lot more than I thought we were going to get. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I I didn't think. Uh, I, I mean, we were heading. We wanted to get tenure, but uh, I honestly didn't think we were going to get tenure. Um, <laughs> so that uh, that was good. Throw in some more people into farming because we still need quite a bit of farmers. Uh, but good job, uh, we got we got educated. So now, if uh, nomads come, we have no qualms about uh, bringing them in. In fact, I wouldn't mind bringing them in uh, just to give us a boost and get everything back up where it should be as far as our uh, population. I mean, this, this city can hold much more than the, the, what, the 600 that we have now. 667 that we have now. I mean, we can do a lot more than that. So we need to do a lot more than that. So, we, uh, we, just, we just need more people. Let's put another five in here. We've been, uh, we, I mean, we have a steady increase. I mean, if we were to look at our graphs here as far as a population, you can see the dip has, uh, has come up. If we just look at 25 years, uh, we went down, like we peaked up a little bit. I think that's where we accept the nomads, uh, right a little after the first thing. Um, and then we started dipping down, and now we're back on the incline, so that's good. bigger thing here. I go to just the last five years where we've been on a steady incline up. Over a hundred, yeah, I mean that was a huge dip. We had over a thousand people. And then we uh, dipped down. Most of that was old age. There were so many people that died of old age. Um, so many. It was ridiculous. Oh, we got more. Okay, good. I keep on getting more laborers, and I keep putting them back to work on the farms because we need to, as we keep this uh, increase of population, I need to increase the food. Stone is dwindling a little bit again, um, but we shouldn't be using it for much more um, than uh, what we've got here. We got no one working this tavern. But that's okay. So everything should now be rebuilt. So that's good. Uh, so I don't plan on really building much more for a little bit. I mean, we still have uh, some houses with just singles, single peoples in them. So uh, I'm sure a lot of the other houses have single people in them as well. So it's not going to be that big of a deal. Up to 27, not 28. 170 farmers again, so that's good. We're 65 down from maxing out our farming again, um, which is very important. Um, we should have enough people working in our herds. There shouldn't be anybody in any of our herds complaining that there's nobody working in. I mean, we still have that upper right-hand corner that we could expand to, but I mean, I really don't see the point. I mean, this was the best place to expand before because look at all this agriculture that we have going. It's wonderful. We have the ten builders. We don't need ten. I like to keep it at about five. So 175, so we are 60, 60 away from our maxed farmers, uh, 10 away from maxed herders, and then we we'll get all the other people going up and up, and up as well. So this has been good. Um, we've been playing, I've been playing for a while now. Um, <laughs> I mean, we, 
almost 20 years worth of play here. Um, so I think I'm going to be done for the night, but you won't notice any difference because I will be back in a second as far as you're concerned. Um, I'll do some more recording. Um, like I said, school's out. I don't know why I'm saying this. Um, hey, nomads. Do we want these guys? How many are there? 149 nomads? You know what? I think... I think we might just accept them. Welcome. Only 16 of them don't have a house. That's how, uh, that's how bad our house was before. Um, but let's go ahead and max our farmers back up to the 235. Clicky, clicky, clicky. Oh, too many. Oh no, people are getting sick. I forgot about this. Alright. I forgot nomads bring diseases. <laughs> So completely forgot. It's a good thing we have positions. Um, how many people are sick? Go to the doctor, yes. Let's nip this in the bud super fast. Get you guys good. And hopefully, because you, you guys are already at the doctor. So if you guys are at the doctor, hopefully we stay at two. Okay. It's spreading. Go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. Go. Where are you going? Go to the doctor. Don't spread the disease. Are you going to this doctor? I don't care. If you go to the doctor, go to the doctor. Down to three. Good. Go to the doctor. No, we're up to six now. Go to the doctor. We have plenty of physicians, though, so there's really not much we can do about this. Um, now that we've got these guys going, let's get our foresters back up. Just get all of our, our people back up. Twenty laborers. Um, still only six people that are sick, so that's good. Oh, no, no, up to twelve. Um, typhus or whatever it's called. People are dying. Overall, it'll be better for us population-wise to have had these people coming, so not too terribly concerned. We'll, we'll make it through. We made it through sicknesses before. We'll do it again. Just grab some uh, food. Oh, whoops. I dismissed instead of accepted. Oh well. Getting sick all over the place. That's okay. After taking these people in, our education now will drop to 84%. We even still have some people that are homeless. Just maybe we need a couple more houses. So let's go. people sick now. As long as they're all going to the doctor, I'm okay with this. Holy babies. 258 children right now. That's a lot. Good thing we have 353,000 food right now. Uh, sickness is staying in the low teens, uh, mid teens. So it's not, uh, it's not crazy, not yet at least, um, so that's good. You shouldn't, uh, I mean, I'm not really concerned. Um, 
everyone has a home now, and here I am building more houses. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> not a big deal. Um, we should have full food production coming in from farms and herds. Um, we have up the amount of gatherers and fishers and hunters. Um, we put foresters back to full. That's good. Uh, now we're into the low 20s for sickness. Luckily no one's sick right here. I'll sick somewhere else. Okay. People dying of typhus. You'd think my people would be a little more resilient. Um, that sickness hit fast, too. A lot of times the sickness doesn't hit that fast. At least it doesn't seem like it does. Yeah. People dying of the sickness. Okay, not, uh, it's not the end of the world. Oh. Why are you here? Go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. You guys are at the doctor. Oh, my children are sick. That's okay. We have 250 of them. Some of the children can die. That's okay. <laughs> that was so heartless. <laughs> um, I think that's probably a clue that I am tired. Get a little heartless one type. But uh, we reached that achievement and we are grinding away further to uh, We are in autumn of year 118, uh, which means we will be in year 119 soon. Um, I'll probably play some more while you guys are not here because it's boring. I mean, I've fallen asleep multiple times, I feel, um, while doing this. Except for during that massive fire. That, uh, that was ridiculous. Um, <laughs> hold on, we got, uh, 29 laborers again, so let's put two here. Two here. Two there. Two more into galleries, I guess. Let's just boost galleries up. Population has been bolstered thanks to the nomads. Excellent. Uh, well, I'll, uh, I'll be back in just a little bit. Uh, like I said, you won't notice any difference. I'm just going to splice these all together. And I should stop saying that because then you're going to be like, why is he saying that every few minutes? Because to me, it's not every few minutes. All right. I'll be back in just one second. Well, we've made it to year 120. Um, we were having an iron shortage for a bit there. I was a little concerned that we were going to get low on our tools. Um, but a lot of our students became adults. You can see we're up to 595 adults. Um, so I filled up the mines and turned them all almost exclusively to iron. Um, now that we've got a little bit of a bank of iron, almost up to 500, I turned uh, three of them into coal because our firewood production is still not not good enough. Um, so we got uh, some people here. You can see we're, we're getting the laborers like crazy. I'm going to fill my farmers back up and fill my herdsmen back up. I had to take them out just temporarily to, to get my miners going. Almost got a, a full thing of miners, which is awesome. And I have plenty of places to expand mines along this ridge, uh, which is really good. I don't have to worry about the fact that uh, there is a forest here, so they chopped it all down. So resources are just kind of, yeah, we're struggling a little bit, um, but we're getting our population back up where we need it to be so that we can be working everything and, and getting everything coming in. So this next set I am going to put, um, let's see here, we're still, still been able to hover around 300 and something 
thousand food, three hundred fifty thousand food. So um, I'm going to put this next set into the miners, and so we've almost got them up to the one hundred twenty, which is great. Other than that, we're just kind of chugging away. Um, nothing too exciting happening, uh, which is to be expected. Um, but we have plenty of space right here for quarries um, once we take away the stockpiles. So that'll be good. And uh, we're like perpetually low on firewood. These people are cold, but no one has been dying of, of being frozen, so that's good. I did tell them to come up here and get some firewood, I don't know, or some wood. Looks like some of them are finally starting to chop down a little bit of it, uh, which is nice. Um, so they're chopping down some of those trees. I don't have a lot of laborers to go up there and do that because I've been trying to refill um, all the people here. So uh, we have uh, quite a bit of growth. We got uh, a lot of kids, a lot of students and a lot of adults so we're, we're doing good I think uh, I'm probably gonna skip forward here because there's not much to do um, I might be expanding in this area with houses as soon as we uh, get more and more things going on but as of right now we, we've got like 400 population well over 300 population of, of people that aren't doing anything because they're students or um, children so I think I will wait for a little bit, but I will see you guys in just a little bit. Welcome to the year 125. We are a quarter of a way to our 200 from 100. Uh, we have been fighting off a sickness for quite a while now, probably four years. Um, we are doing really good population-wise, uh, so much so that we have extra laborers after filling up everything completely. We have set up a couple more foresting lodges um, here. And they are starting to bring in logs now, finally. And another one uh, tucked up in this corner right here. Uh, they are also starting to bring logs in. It's been a couple years since then, so we're finally getting logs with them, so that's good. Um, our logs are rather low. So, uh,. We've been trying to keep up with the firewood demand, so I'm making extra um, log areas. And even though I said I wasn't going to do it, I'm going to expand up here. Um, but this area, since uh, we're still hovering about 360,000 food, is going to be my logging area. I'm going to make loggers and I guess gatherers, uh, because those two go pretty well together. And I'm just going to expand all over this place, clear up all this stone and iron, build basically just enough houses to support logging here. Um, we might have some logging, eh, probably not there, but uh, another logging here, a third logging here, fourth logging down here. And then maybe a fifth logging in here. Um, it's basically just going to be a logging area for us. And that's all we're going to do is log, log, log. So of course the first order of business before expanding up here is to get my market up and running. Um, I have some people all the way up here trying to clear it out. Um, but I have 90, 90 laborers, so... I should have more than enough to uh, get a long community up and running. Um, so that should be good. And uh, I've also added another coal mine right here to uh, keep getting coal because we need coal. Um, let's see here. Other than that, nothing much else has been going on, but I wanted to say woohoo! We made it to 125 years. Um, so I might do this in a two-part finale and do the first 50 years in one episode and then the next 50 years in the next episode. Uh, we'll see how long it is to get through 25 years. I guess it really just depends on how often I stop to chat. Um, but other than that, everything else has been going on. It looks like we finally got rid of that sickness, which is great. Um, I've been also slowly moving towards getting... 
my quarry set up here. Right here. So we're ready for the first one. Uh, then I'm going to fit maybe two more in here. Uh, our quarry here is getting low. This quarry is getting low. So we need to replace them. We should have a huge influx of uh, stone and iron from up here as well, because we're going to clear all that out to make room for just straight foresters. Uh, I'm still having my firewood and logs are low, I already know that. Uh, so it's going to take a little while to get this expansion started, but once it's started, uh, we'll get some houses built up here, and we will get our foresters built up here as well. So it'll be good. I started the the road, or at least laid out the long road that comes down through here and through this tunnel. Uh, they have not finished it yet because the laborers are busy doing other stuff. Uh, but that's what's happening uh, since the last time we checked in. Everything's going great. Uh, we got plenty of adults, plenty of food, plenty of tools. Uh, tools are a little low. Um, but that's okay. We got plenty of people working on tools, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I mean, how many blacksmiths do we have? We have nine. I mean, I could I could probably afford a couple more. I've got 99 war warriors, so it's actually uh, let's get some more blacksmiths. Let's get three more blacksmiths. Um, oh, pestilence here again? Jeez, I just, just cleared you out. There we go. This sheep, uh, I just had a pestilence there. Just, uh, maybe five, ten minutes ago, it seems. Um, so, yeah, that's what's been happening with us. Uh, nothing major, uh, a lot of little minor things, uh, so we should be getting log production back up and running, uh, especially once we expand up to the north, our, our log production will go, will go pretty good. So, uh, see you in another couple years, I guess. Welcome to the year 130, everybody. It is early spring, and we have 70 more years to go. Uh, things of note that's happened since uh, we last left. Opened up a couple of quarries right here. Opening up a couple more mines right here. Looks like this mine just got opened, which is great. So that is excellent. All these people that have question marks will start getting to work. Uh, we had a surplus of firewood. I don't know what happened to it. We had over a thousand firewood, and then all of a sudden we dropped down to 300 as soon as I started doing this video. Seems a little strange to me, but oh well. Uh, but the other thing of note, uh, these areas right here are up and running really well. But we have expanded to the north. We have our little mining operation going here. Well, logging operation, really. Uh, we have enough houses for just about everyone that lives in the area. Uh, we have a school and a hospital, just in case. Uh, we have cleared out all the excess minerals, iron, and stone from this area so that this will be able to function completely. And we also put up the one over here. Looks like we've cleared out most of the iron and stone from this location as well, which is great. Let's see here, we've also created a little node down here, which we are in the process of clearing out. And then across the water we also have another node that is also in the process of being cleared out for the stone and iron sake. Uh, you want to clear out the stone and iron so that more trees will grow so that you get more log output. Uh, but with all these up and operational, we're floating more around 1,400 logs instead of around 200 logs. Uh, I've mapped out this area here as well. 
in preparation of uh, setting up a login operation here as well. We'll just go ahead and place the roads. Stone roads make traveling fastest. I like to surround everything with stone roads and then take the point connect it to the main road there you go just like that uh, that way that will be ready to go we'll designate a clear of the stone and iron here so that when we decide to bring this online it'll be ready to just go ahead and grow which is great so our login operation is going well. The nice thing about the login operation is we have gatherers huts right next to them, which bring in quite a bit of food. Uh, well over a thousand food each season, which is great. Uh, we're still hovering anywhere between 35,000, 350,000 and 380,000 food, uh, which we've had a population increase. Uh, the only thing of note that has changed is uh, there was a tornado that came through uh, that killed a good amount of people that we had, um, but uh, we survived, and it didn't kill off a whole bunch, it just killed off a small amount, so that was good. But the logging north is coming underway. Um, I went ahead and upped the amount of vendors for this particular vendor place since we're so far out of the way. We do have stone roads connecting everywhere, so it's really fast to move. But in order to keep this area nice and full, we needed more people. Just like I put 20 people here just because there's so many in this location. But up here we just have the normal 12 and it keeps it uh, fairly full. Full enough. So that's good. We never have any issues with that, at least. Um, but everything is going great. Um, I don't foresee any issues. Uh, my population is getting on the older side again, uh, which isn't necessarily bad. Um, but it also means that we might have to do a kickout session to get younger couples to group together again. I mean, we still have 132 children, so it's not like we're going to have an issue anytime soon. Uh, but our student number has decreased, down to only 70 students instead of the, like, 200 we had earlier. So, it is uh, definitely something to keep a watch on. Other than that, uh, we're pretty good to go. Everything is going as smoothly as you can imagine it would be. So it is, it is going great. Uh, we will see you in probably another 10 years or so. Everything is uh, working out good. Guess I can lower the number of builders. I upped it so that we can get this uh, northern operation online. But now that it's online, we don't need those builders. There's just this one house getting uh, taken care of anyway, so... There's not much to build. Most of the building has been completed. And other than that, we're good to go. Uh, I'm quite happy with this northern area. Uh, this whole area is getting cleared out of all this excess stuff so that everything will grow good. I feel like I'm repeating myself, it is like 2 in the morning and, and I'm quite tired. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and end this here. We'll end it with looking at the trader. You brought me nothing I need. I have all these things. Goodbye. I guess the one thing I'll look at is one of my wool and... and leather. How much of those do I have? Because I, I switched it off, so I have like 2,000 leather and 7,000 wool. So what I'm going to do is find my tailors. So you're already on warm coats. These are blacksmiths. 
Looking at the tailors, I know I have nine of them. There's one here, and then I have quite a few up here. So we're going to change you to warm coats. Oh, you're already on warm coats. So that constitutes five of my tailors. Pretty sure I have a tailor over here somewhere. Some blacksmith. Perhaps I don't. I have tailors somewhere. Here's a tailor. You're already on worn coats. That's seven. Looking for tailors. Oh, what happened here? Maybe this got hit by the tornado. I don't recall this getting hit by the tornado, but apparently it did. It's like the only thing that did get hit by the tornado. To, to tell you how lucky we were with the tornado is I thought that this was the only thing that broke. It might have started down here and moved its way up, is what I'm thinking happened there, because uh, we didn't lose a lot, which is good. I don't see any other tailors anywhere. If I can't find them, I'm assuming they're probably already on warm coats. But everything is, uh, is running smoothly. Thank you for watching this portion of it. Hopefully it's all just back to back like I planned, but you never know. Um, things could mess up, but uh, I hope they don't. So I will see you in probably another 10 years or so.